Tisa ia nā ni kia oama, ia tukūria ni kia ti. This is Jije or Jije, AIL, connecting to Nalini's part of Nalini DNA. <laughs> As many of you noticing the current moment of time, beginning of 2022 of your year, process of deeper release, shedding of old individual and collective conditioning process of something that the all collective consciousness has accumulated an individual as well has accumulated for many eons and eons of time and this too earth participating with the reason full moon in cancer and the recent activity of the south pacific ocean and the water volcano that you may all have seen and heard through your media. Reflection and symbolizes the purging of the old layers that fear clings on to. We would like to stress that fears, what fears are clinging on to, observe that. Observe the personality, the egoic personalities that reactive to fear and cling on to the old conditioning, cling on to the old reaction and responses, the old familiarity, even though you know deeply that no longer serves. And here, we would like to, to stress another point for you not to judge yourself negatively. For you to embrace the magical moment, the power of the present moment. For you to continue to be an observer of your own energy, of your own thoughts. For you to practice, apply the state of unconditional love and a state of renewal. And this is us, one of our the closest word would be responsibility, however, more of our ways of participating to humanity is to reflect upon a template. Perhaps what you can perceive as new DNA templates, but it's not in a sense that new is foreign and alien to you, <laughs> but new in ways that our DNA templates, our reflection, our energy, our transmission here in this moment, right now, inspire you to rediscover the state of being new in each moment of now. So that when memories rise, whether memories of your gifts of multi dimension of selves or memories of so called something that you are shading of, something that the fear side try to cling. You can 
Always remind yourself to have new response, new reaction towards them. Because you are the creator of your reality. Yes, there can be ripples and echoes of your ancestral lineage from the ancestral grid. Yes, there can be um, effects and ripples from the old galactic energy that been, have been recycled on Earth. However, it's always up to how you respond and how you react. So observe how you respond, how you have been responding, how you responded in the past. And the paradox is that when you notice the imbalance, you can always shift into the balanced state. When you notice the faults within you, you can always forgive and shift into concept that serves the heart. So we encouraging you to embark upon this process of renewal, shedding off old conditionings by embrace triggers by being fully aware of what old conditionings are within you. And most importantly, be aware with them with neutral eyes, build this practice, build this habit, maybe new to some of you. Keep at it. We're sharing for you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for receiving. And I feel that the process of shedding off or conditioning couldn't be any more perfect within this retrograde because it's opportunity for us to learn not to push, learn not to force, take a step back and introspect even more. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that sometimes this process can be very challenging and at time I feel that I do not voice my challenges out in every single process because sometimes it's not so easy for me to articulate. But every time that I have this kind of moment where I feel centered and I can voice in ways that inspired us, inspired me too, to, to keep 
growing, to keep loving, I, I take this moment. So I just want to let you know that um, if you find this moment challenging, know that you're not alone. Know that um, if there's anyone around you, you can speak. And the beauty of technology is that, you know, we can always connect. And yeah, and if you need, if you feel drawn to allow me, allow us to connect, my website is in the description. But yeah, know that you're not alone. The Father Sky, always with us. Mother Earth is always with us. And yeah. Take care. <laughs>